Okay, so when we're starting this lesson one, again, we're on page 10, we're looking at finding unit rates. And a unit rate, quite simply, and there is a definition down on the page below, but a unit rate is comparing two things. And a very famous unit rate you guys have heard of before is miles per hour. The P in miles per hour, when you hear that phrase, when we write this in a math way, we would write it as miles over hours. The per means one. So when we're t trying to figure out any unit rate, the numerator is gonna be some number for whatever we're comparing. And the bottom number, the denominator for a unit rate is always going to be one. So when we're working with these, we're trying to get these down to something over one. So let's just look at a little bit of vocabulary here. A ratio that compares two quantities with different kinds of units is called a rate. And when we want to know what it is over one, we call it a unit rate. So a rate can be anything where we're comparing two things. Like for instance, this is comparing how many um, beats your heart makes when you're checking your pulse. And the average is between 120 to 160 for every two minutes. If we wanna know what that is as a unit rate, instead of it being over two minutes, we would divide this down and make it over how many minutes? One. This one here is the unit rate. And that's our goal today is to find unit rates. So everything we're doing, we're going to be trying to reduce it to over one. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take a look at this table. Here's some common unit rates. Miles per hour. That's the first one I talked about, wasn't it? That per is always saying per one hour. And you can see it abbreviated as miles over hours or miles P MPH. And that's going to talk about average speed that your vehicle is going. You could also do miles over gallons. And this is when we're trying to figure out which cars get the best mileage. So you would pay less for gas. And that's known as miles per gallon. And it can be miles over gallons or MPG. And that's talking again about gas mileage. And then anytime you're dealing with money, and whether it's pounds or ounces, and we'll be looking at some pictures on Monday from a grocery store. Grocery stores put this on the shelf. If you look at the tag that's underneath products in the grocery store, it will have not just the price for the box or the package or whatever, it'll also break it down to the unit price, which is over ounces or over pounds or whatever the product is sold by. That way you can compare, is the bigger box a, a better deal than the smaller box? Okay, so let's put over the side here because we don't write them like this in math class. We would put it as miles over hours because we use straight line fractions, not diagonal fractions. MPG, or miles per gallon, would be miles over G for gallons. And when it's a unit price, we always put the dollar amount on the top. And whatever the measurement is, goes on the bottom. Whether it's ounces, or gallons, or pounds, it always goes underneath the dollar sign. So let's take a look at some examples. There's four examples in here and I'm gonna break you guys into groups in just a minute. And you and your group are going to look at just one example and try doing the problems that go with it underneath, okay? So here there's two little problems that go underneath this one and then you're going to come back together and explain it to your group. So 